Yay, the new pack is here. We're looking, we're gonna Finally. open, Finally, indeed. We're going to open a load of packs from Chrono Genesis. We'll do uh, mine first, whilst uh, Pedrarians is loading. Let's see what we get. And you haven't had a chance yet to see which the new um, leader cards are, have you? No, what are they? <laughs> Him, obviously. I think that means he can be used now in terms of he's not in the in the old pack, so we can't use him in the new format. I think we can, can't we, if he's in here? Wait, who is he? Who is he? Who is he? Ixer? Albert. Oh, Albert. It literally, it literally says it. Um, uh, Albert, uh, can he be used? I think he can now, can't he? Because he's in this pack. Oh, he's in the... Oh, yeah, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how they work. I, I actually fought against uh, someone using Cerberus in Take Two, and she was so cute. I love the little dog. Wait, there's a new Cerberus? There's a new Cerberus. Look how cute she is. And there's a I, new... I can't. I'm modding. Dark General. Wait, you can't see mine? No. Oh, I should probably share so you can see. That might help, right? <laughs> okay, can you yes, see? Yes, that, that, that will help. <laughs> can you see now? Fail. <laughs> Oh, okay, there's Cerberus. Yeah, she's so cute. And I'm looking forward to getting the Dark General, to be honest, because she's adorable and plot and etc. Okay. Okay. Can there's... you show me the rest? Uh, no, there's only the three. No, I'm only seeing Cerberus. Oh, he's into the rest. Um, there's Albert. It's not moving. It's not moving, really? You can't see the moving? Uh, no. What? Okay, let me reshare because that's weird. Okay, there with our technical hitches. Alright, can you see it now? Oh, what? She's a leader, really? Exactly! She's so cute. I'm looking forward to getting that. Oh. <laughs> I hate her, she kills me all the time. Right? Okay, shall we? Well... I don't think I can actually see, but... You go ahead and tell me what you get. Okay, one I really want to get is that um, there's a underworld something something that's one of Luna's and she acts a bit like Albert when she's evolved. You should stop sharing because I'm using my mobile internet. And it's oh, okay. Really small. Let's see what we get. And I'm going to put the sound on a bit now so I can. Yeah. The pack looks nice. I always like seeing the new art they do for the pack. It looks really nice. Hmm. How many packs do you have? I have 38. And nothing shiny or um, legendary in the first one. We've got a Basilisk Rider. Um, it has Bane, and last word summons a Basilisk. That's actually Dragoncraft. I kind of thought it would be um, Urias for a minute. I mean, because of all the snake cards, but... Hmm. Airship Whale. Um, oh, it's one of the... it's one from the new class. Um, Put a random artifact follower that costs three play points or less from your deck into play. Repeat once if resonance is active for you. And the resonance is that new um, thing that it says resonance effect occurs when your deck has an even number of remaining cards. The new fancy effect. Mm. Gosh. Right. What do you get? Um, then there's the wolf. Fang Swordsman, which I've actually seen already. Um, it's the one cost 1-1, one, one, um, but if you use it on turn 3, it's got Enhanced 3, Gain Bane. And it's kind of cute, to be honest. Oh, that guy. Yeah. He doesn't sound very strong to me. No. Uh, we got Holy Angel Altaya, something like that. She's um, the one that has a, a sleeve this week. This month, sorry. She's really yeah. cute. She's got these adorable little ears. I basically didn't even manage to get the sleeve the last one. No. None of the sleeves. <laughs> okay, a fan... But Fenrir was there. I know, I tried, I tried. Not very hard, but I tried. No, you, you, didn't, you didn't try. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, her fanfare, change an enemy follower into a neutral follower, and clash, deal 4 damage to the enemy follower if it's a neutral follower. Yeah, I saw that one. Oh, you did. Okay, then we've got the gloomy necromancer. Have you seen her? Um, what is she now? Uh, fanfare, burial right, draw a card. I don't know what burial right does. Um, burial right says, if you have a follower in your hand and an open space in your area, put that follower into play. That follower loses all effects, then destroy that follower. Burial right effects can only activate if a follower is put into play this way. I'm not sure about it, to be honest. Wait, what? Yeah. Do you need a reread? Wait, does that mean that you have to use a card like the... I was against it in take two. Uh, they put a mammoth, uh, they used the gloomy necromancer, then they drew out a mammoth from their hand, like the the rampaging mammoth, the, the newer of the two, into their interplay, and then destroyed it immediately. No effects happened, and all they got to do, because the burial right for the gloomy, gloomy necromancer is draw a card, that's all they could do. Um, I'm not sure about it, based on that, but we'll see what happens, I guess. It might be useful in, in a deck, but in take two, I, I wasn't sure about it. No, I have to try this out. Mm. Then it works. And then we've got Fire Sprite Grove, which is Forest Craft. Um, countdown of two, it's an amulet. Last words, deal one damage to a random enemy follower. Deal one damage to a random enemy follower if this amulet is returned to your hand. And at the end of your turn, put a fairy into your hand. Yeah, I saw, saw that one, it looks crazy. Yeah, it does. You have, you have so many cards that give you fairies, so you don't need to play anything cheap. You can just play only the roach. But I don't even know if you can still play the roach. Can you still play the roach? I really don't know yet. I'll have to find out. Alright, I've got a Shadowcraft card called Soul Caller. Whenever an allied follower, excluding ghosts, is destroyed during your turn, summon a ghost. Yeah, I saw that one. Oh, you did. And then we've got Silent, Lab um, Silent Laboratory. Did you see that? Silent what? Laboratory. No, it wasn't. Uh, there's Runecraft and an amulet. It says, fanfare, randomly summon one of the following. A clay golem or a zombie. It's too Brains. close. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so that's pack one. Let's open another one. Let's see what we get. <gasps> Lots of animated things. Yay. Anything golem? Uh, no, we've got a bronze card called Captain Matea, 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 he's portal craft. If resonance is active for you, gain plus one ward. Um, Gravikinetic Warrior, she's animated, she's portal craft, fanfare, randomly put two of the following cards into your deck. Analyzing artifact, ancient artifact, mystic artifact, or radiant artifact. <laughs> ancient aliens. <laughs> yeah. She looks pretty cool, actually. Obviously, because she's shiny. Uh, all right, we got Portal Craft card, Steel Demolitionist. I think we'll go through the effects another time because I just want to look through and see all the prettiest for now. Okay. And we can do the technical technical stuff later because you're better at that than I am, anyway. <laughs> all right, I got the Frostfire Dragon. It's animated. Frostfire. Literally two heads. That looks pretty cool. Castle Guardian that I've seen already. Mano Pistol. Oh, she looks cute. Mano Pistol Mert. Nice. No legendary still? There's a new Mr. Who. This is only my second pack. Oh, what? Really? Yeah. There's a new Mr. Hoot that you'll, um, you'll like. New Mr. Hoot is neutral? Um, it's Haven, I think. Yeah, Haven. What's he? I don't know yet. <laughs> How do you know I liked him then? Because he's a hoot. You like those. Uh. Alright, we finally have a gold, and it's called Confront Adversity. Um, summon a shield guardian and a knight, deal one damage to all enemy followers, and it's four cost swordcraft. I saw that I was trying to figure out if it's any good. Yeah. It sounds very strong. Does it? I wasn't sure about it. Well, I mean, it does a lot of things, and usually the cards that do a lot of things are pretty good. Even if 
None of the things that's been impressive. Because mm -hmm. you do one damage and you summon what it to two world and something else. I don't know, it sounds wrong. Okay, we've got the Adept Archer here who looks a lot like the actual Archer from one of the previous packs. Yeah, they have a lot of these kind of reprints of the book, really. Yeah. The same cards with different effects. Rosa Mechwing Maiden. She looks adorable. She really is so cute. Oh my gosh. Um, ah, oh, we got the Happy Pig! Yeah, <laughs> the Happy Pig. It's adorable. Oh, what? It gets like a little cape and crown and stuff when it evolves. No. <laughs> Puns. Okay, she looks cute. Oh, what is this? Mysterious Summoner Veil? Vale. She has a little, like, carbuncle thing by her. Or is it rabbit or something? I don't know what it is, but it's adorable. Oh, it's mm. a dog. I'm confused. You left something to think of her. A bunny corn! Oh, it's a bunny corn! <laughs> what? A bunny corn. A bunny corn? Yeah, man. <laughs> so I like a unicorn? Kind of. A bunny with a unicorn on. What does it do? What does it do? It's a one play point runecraft follower. Last words, spell boost the cards in your hand. Oh. Oh, I won't. <laughs> There's a bloodcraft card called Savage, Savage Wolf, which has Storm as 2 2, 3 cost. So it's a bit like the Blood Wolf, but that was a 2 1 and a 2 cost. Mm. So, not really like it at all. Dragon Aficionado. Huh. This works a little bit like the Dragon Tamer one that summoned the Fire Dragon thingy last time, except the Fire Drake Whelp is a 1 1, I guess. Um, Cursed Scarecrow. There's a 2 cost 4 1 here, but it can't attack the enemy leader. Yes, what? Well. Anubis. Judgment upon the weight of your soul. Okay, his burial right might be a bit more useful. This is randomly destroy one of the strongest enemy followers in play. So yeah, that could be useful, I guess. Yeah. Ooh, I got another um, gold, and it's called Pegasus Dullahan. Oh yeah, I saw. Ooh, ooh. Okay. A dragon horde. And put a maelstrom dragon into your hand. Oh, we got an animated burly axe wielder, yay. <laughs> animated what? Burly axe wielder. <laughs> Tranquil cog. Cat cannoneer. He's a kitty. Well. Put two in. Okay, I'm probably going to be using this, just because. Wow. <laughs> Sounds scary. <laughs> Fire, meow, meow. <laughs> oh, we have a treasure map. That was kind of fresh, wasn't it? Randomly put one of the following cards into your hand. Forest of Dreams. Um, Arthurian Light, Enchanted Library, Phoenix Roost, Grave Desecration, Bloodfed Flowerbed, or Pegasus Sculpture. This works a little bit like, um, what does that two cost, uh, Legendary called? Stella? Stella, yeah, it works a bit like Stella. Except she gives you one every turn, and she actually can fight. Oh, yeah. This is a one cost spell, though, and it can give, like, Phoenix Roost is a five play point card. So, I don't That's know. That's terrible. <laughs> Who would play that? Well, not you. 
And you're, you're, just, you're paying one player point to get a spell which you wouldn't normally put in your deck. Yeah. Instincts unleashed. Blood drinkers brand. Crimson Bow Elf looks quite cute. Have you seen her? Yeah. Okay. Uh, next pack we got. Ooh. A flower doll. That's adorable. <laughs> okay, that's gotta be um, blood, yeah. She looks a bit like the new legendary. The saga looks a bit like the new um, legendary card. Which new? The one you see when you're downloading. You can see all of them. You can you can see one from each class, not all of them. Okay, which class is that? Um, blood. Uh, I honestly can't tell which one is theirs. She's got like. White Is hair? Neck, sort of. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it looks like her. Okay, nothing in here I haven't. Oh, yes, there was bear pups too. That's cute. <laughs> also, there's a new genre. Yeah, I thought that I was like a bird one. We don't have enough. <laughs> yeah. So you'll be able to make a deck with only genre. Just gems, yeah. The merchant tech is really cute. I should do this a pig and a wolf. <laughs> okay, nine. Ooh, more enemy cards. Joycraft is Sammy. That looks like. Um, oh, it is. What is it? You know the um, sa the bronze card called Sammy in Runecraft at the moment. That the one that draws one card for everyone. The draws a card, yeah. This one, um, both players draw a card again, and it's a four cost silver. Three, four. Mm. She's quite cute. Alright, we have the automation soldier. Hmm. Wow. Automaton? 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 I guess the latter. We have the sister of the sword. Give an allied follower ward, Havencraft. Um, animated assassination, the assassination, I can't spell that word, assassination jutsu. <laughs> exactly, I thought that was hilarious. Um, animated ancient amplifier. Okay, last pack from these ten. Ooh, animated gold card, otherworld rift. It's portal craft, um, banish an enemy follower. Put a random artifact card from your deck into your hand. I can't see what that being bad. Cost? Five cost. What? Well, if you think about it, you've got that acolyte thingy in Haven that's a five cost that banishes, but it doesn't put a random card or anything, does it? Yeah, but that's way better. Not only does it draw a card, it gives you a specific card. Yeah, exactly, which is why I think it's better. It's way better. Right, gemstone carapace. Uh, and the wield philosopher. Okay. Next pack. Oh, next pack of ten. That's all. Cool. Oh my god! <laughs> oh wow! All right, we've got trance, trance. both of them that you would have seen on the um, on the screen. Arya, the guiding fairy. Oh, she's insane! I want her. What does the fairy wisp do? Zero play point card. Banish this follower for at least two other cards will play this turn. Oh my gosh! And evolve her. It's basically a zero cost fairy. Yeah. Unless you've already played things, then. It's even better because you don't want to fill, the, fill your boat with fairies and yeah. they will just banish themselves. And she's only four costs, that's really exciting. Okay. And then we got... And not only, not only that, if you evolve her, she, she has more stats than the, uh, the fairy prince itself. Oh, she does? 
and, and she gives you two fairy wisps, which cost zero. Jeez. And not only that, you mm-hmm. can even use her when you don't evolve her, because that's the main weakness of the fairy princess elf. Okay. Because she still gives you something. And also she has an enhanced effect. I think someone's a bit excited about this card. She's insane, like, so much better than, like, one of the best cards of the deck. I don't even play fairies, so I guess I'm going to have to now, huh? Yeah. Alright, the other um, legendary we got was Spinaria, Keeper of Enigmas, which actually I thought was quite good as well. That's a portal craft one. Um, summons sure. Spinaria's Artifact, which is a one play point portal craft artifact follower 1 1. And the last words if it is your turn, then put a random, art- a random artifact card from your deck into your hand. You'll do your opponent's turn, draw a card. And she's really cute, which is mostly the reason I wanted her. <laughs> Yay. Alright, and I got a gold in here as well, Hakrabi. Um, fan f- a portal craft. Fanfare, put a random artifact card from your deck into your hand. Repeat once if resonance is active for you. Hmm. And a new card I got was Marion Fierce Dragon here is a silver. Okay, so okay that. And next we have Ah, oh, we got Ayla again, the Dragon Sword. She's a gold this time, and she... Oh, you have to evolve her to get an empty play point warp. She's really cute, but I'm not sure how useful she'll be. It's like ramp at the cost, ramp at the cost of an evolve. Would you trade that? Mm, no, I don't know. Hmm. Another animated Frostfire Dragon. We got a mummy. Um, fanfare, oh, I saw the mummy, yeah. Deal two damage to an enemy follower. That's quite creepy actually when it evolves. And we've got yeah, an Ash. Cool, okay, next one. Uh, Reach of the Arch Demon. Is it a gold card? Oh, I remember that one. They revealed it. Oh, cool. they did. Cool. And then. Stormborn Wings, transform a Dragoncraft card in your hand into a Wind Blast Dragon, which is that 6 play point, 5-5 five, five Storm. I thought that one was terrible. It's a one cost. But yeah. And then we've got yeah. me- Mechanical Bowman, or Bow Woman really, because there, there's plot involved. Um, she's Portal Craft. Alright, next up. We've got a second Otherworld Rift, and an animated Steel Demo- Demolitionist. Um, oh, we've got a Furious Elder Weedman, which is... familiar. Yeah. Um, okay, next one. Nothing... oh, hang on. No, Dungeon Explorer Chloe. Not Chloe. Cool. Yeah, she's neutral, and on fanfare, give another allied follower the ability to ignore ward. Wait, you remember that fa- that fairy dungeon explorer card or something? It's a bit like that, but it's neutral. Having said that, I can't remember what? her back, so it's probably not at all. Ignore me. You right, mean it looks like her, or...? Yeah, sort of, minus the wings. <laughs> okay, we've got the mech wing swordsman. And the fervent machine soldier, who also looks cool. Okay. We got an identified subject. Hmm. Five cost three six. Whenever a card is put into your deck, gain plus one attack. Oh my gosh. Craft, yeah, it is. We got Hamelin. Choose a follower in your hand, excluding him that originally cost three play points or less. Put a copy of that follower into your hand. Let's portal craft again. Okay. Next is. Oh, we've got an animated Stormborn again. 
and substitution, which looks really creepy. It does. Okay, next pack. I've got an animated Castle Guardian. Pazuzu. What? Have you seen that? Yeah. The Bloodcraft Guard, Bane, Fanfare, deal one damage to all enemy followers if Vengeance is active for you. Um, and then a Skull Ring, which is a Shadowcraft amulet. A Fanfare, summon two skeletons, last words, necromancy, reanimate? Reanimate's new. Um, what is that? Randomly summon a copy of one of the highest cost allied followers that has been destroyed during this match and cost less than or equal to the reanimate value. So you can basically use, because that says reanimate 2, you can reanimate a 2 cost or lower um, something. We have a glass brand demon, demoness it should be. Uh, fanfare enhance 5, gain plus 3 plus 3, deal 2 damage to your leader if vengeance is not active for you. Restore 2 defense to your leader if vengeance is active for you. Okay. Last pack in this lot. We have an animated cursed stone, which looks pretty freaky. Devil blade. It really does look like that devil guy's blade. Um, got second piggy, expel soul. Destroy an enemy. Do? Destroy an enemy follower. Draw one card, and if it's spell boost, draw one more. It's a seven cost. Uh, and then grave, in grave invitation. <coughs> a one cost. <coughs> oh my gosh, choking. Destroy an allied follower and summon a zombie. For Shadowcraft, that's really good. Is it? Especially at one cost, yeah. It's like the... Um, well, that. you can play the... thing that... I always forget. For the tree that summons the lich. Yeah, the hell... And no one played that. Yeah. I don't think that's bad. Alright, next lot. <laughs> Class President Hannah. A runecraft card, at the end of your turn, randomly put one of the following cards into your hand. Mysterian Missile, or Mysterian Circle. If you have played a Mysterian card this turn, put a Mysterian right into your hand instead. Okay. Charities do. Do Mysterian cards. Did you have to make a deck Yeah, it's a whole set of cards. From the Obedo. This sounds interesting. Okay, next one. Oh, I got another um, Hakrabi and Neil Potent Entity. It's a portal craft amulet to count on to fanfare. If there are any artifact artifact cards in your hand, randomly discard one and add two to this amulet's countdown. Until this amulet leaves play, your leader cannot receive more than three damage at a time, and that's a one cost. I'm not sure what I think about it yet, but it's, it's kind of like Roland's amulet card, but you take less damage and it's a one cost. But I'm not sure whether um, discarding amulet, random amulets is a good idea or not. Random artifacts, sorry. Um, and then we've got the Colossal Construct, 7 cost, 5, 6. Fanfare deals 0 damage to an enemy follower. This value equals the number of remaining artifact cards in your deck. That's probably strong. Possibly, yeah. We've got two of them, so hopefully. <laughs> Alright, next one. We've got Silent Laboratory again. we got... Oh, we've got that Bone Bug. I saw that card. 
and we got Masked Puppet. I really like the look of the puppet cards, they reminds me remind me of um, Venice. How? Venice, Italy. How? Because of the look of them. I don't understand. You haven't seen it. Okay, we got another Portacraft card. I am not going to try and pronounce that. Um, whenever an allied artifact comes into play, give it rush. Whenever you play an artifact card, recover one play point. Oh, what, well. Okay. Three turn countdown. Mysterian knowledge. Randomly put one of the following cards into your hand the missile or the circle. We got two gloomy necromancers. Nice. Um, and we got an animated iron staff mechanic. Oh, and Machine Artisan Gino. What's it in for? If there are any artifact cards in your hand, randomly discard one and give your leader the following effect. Subtract three from the next source of damage dealt to your leader. Hmm. Doesn't sound too bad. Ooh, Icarus. She looks cute. And then the demon's epitaph. Have you seen that? No. It looks really creepy. Could even be useful in some situations. Creepy and useful. Kind of. Alright, we got the skeleton prince. Six cost two three, summon a skeleton knight. Oh, it's really annoying, right? Yeah, just... the skeleton knight is the one that... Oh, someone is a skeleton knight, right? Yeah. So you have to kill, like, twice those. <laughs> and another reach of the archdemon, and we got the animated wolfang swordsman. Hooray. And we got a goblin mount ogre, which has ward, and on fanfare, enhance five, gains plus two, plus two. Animated Fire Sprite Grove. Animated Mysterious Mysterian Summon Avail, yay. And that's that's this pack we get. Mm. Ah, Mr. Bertrand Magic Mentor. If you have played another Mysterian card this turn on last words, randomly put one of the following cards into your hand. The missile of the club circle. And this has nothing new but an animated wheeled philosopher. It's got a bear. Bear? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alright, my last eight packs then I get what? I wonder. Let's have a look. Oh, the cute one! I'm so happy right now. I got another legendary, it's the Runecraft one you see on the um, download screen. Fanfare, give your leader the following effect, your spells deal plus one damage. What that one looks very interesting. Yeah. For interesting you mean adorable. Do, do you know what you can do then? Well, I wasn't sure because it's you, a five- you can, you can play two of her, and you should play all of them, your angelic snipes, magic missiles will deal four damage, oh and gosh. you should kill four of them. That could be kind of awesome. You can even play Angelic Barrage that's going to deal 4 turn. <laughs> that would be crazy. Including the leader. Yeah. Okay, so we have her. That's great. Wait, what if you play Fire Chain? Is that going to deal Plus. 4 damage every time? That would be crazy. Because it would do way, way more than that by the time you powered it up. Right, we've got a silver cog spinner who looks adorable. And 
and God Scales Banquet. That's quite cute looking. Enhanced fire, subtract three from the amulet's countdown. Last words, summon two white snakes. They both have Bane, obviously. Mm. Mm. Okay, this pack we have an animated meta production. Not what else new. Okay, frontline cavalier. Whenever, I don't know he was um, whenever an allied officer follower comes into play, we'll store one defense to your leader. Yeah. I'm sure Dion gave that because people were complaining that Terry doesn't have healing. Yeah, probably. It's not a very good healing, though. No, it could be better. Okay, down to the last few packs. Can we get anything by the way of more legendaries? Alright, we got some new cards. The Noble, Noble Chancellor. Whenever you play a card using its enhanced effects, recover one play point. So long, no. mm. And then Homebound Mercenary. At the end of your turn, restore one defense to this follower. Enhanced plus four, gain plus one plus two. And we've got animated Mechwing Swordsman. And the Iron Stuff Mechanic Gun. Okay, last pack. It's gonna be another <laughs> Leaf Man. That's new. Fanfare Enhanced Five. Give all allied followers plus one. Those followers can't be damaged by spells and effects. These effects last until the end of your opponent's turn. Jeez. And then we got animated expel soul. Okay, I'm gonna go and play with these cards. <laughs> so hopefully I'll have some interesting deck choices and such to show you in the future. Until next time.